Well, all right, so now we got the uh, the modern, uh, the 318i airflow meter on here, and it's running a little leaner than uh, the Opal one was. And I'm gonna see if we can bring it down, because I couldn't get the other one to come down, let's pass that. So we're gonna bring this one down, and we're gonna, we're gonna see if we can get the sucker down to the 14 range. adjustment I've noticed that there just there is a sweet spot where it goes in and out, where you can go as far as you want to go out and it won't make a bit of difference or if you go in it won't make a whole lot of difference but then there's that sweet spot where if you turn it a little bit more yep sometimes it does that on you sometimes it'll go back So, well, what we got here, um, looks like it's going down a little bit more. This is the BMW airflow meter unadjusted uh, as far as the spring. I have not uh, not messed with the spring at all. All I've done is adjust out the uh, airflow meter adjustment screw itself. Keep bouncing back a little bit. That could just be the wind outside affecting my airflow meter. I mean, my gas analyzer. It does that sometimes. All right. So, or I turned it back in a little too much too soon. There we go. All right, well, I'm going to test it and just see how it is like it is. And, uh, and maybe just stick with this one. 